We've experienced collective hardship in recent times, and these hardships have challenged us in many ways, not only with health and loss, but by upending what we considered normal. So as we begin to emerge from this phase, we may have the tendency to want to go back to normal, to find comfort and familiarity again with what we were used to. But we should be cautious about this desire to go back. There is wisdom in everything that Allah makes. And in reality, nothing is ever the same. So while we often need to look to the past to connect to our roots, connect to what is core to us, whether it be looking to our righteous predecessors, for example, or to our original state as souls, knowing Allah, we are positioned to constantly move forward toward greater potential. So rather than going back to normal, we should consider striving toward not just the new normal, but a series of ever-developing set of new possibilities, new openings, new growth, built on the learnings from all we've been experiencing. We are souls on a journey, constantly moving toward new horizons. In the Quran, there's many references to journeying or traveling. There are injunctions to travel the world, to gain knowledge, to experience Allah's glory, and to have reason to be thankful. And when we read the Fatiha, we ask Allah to guide us on the straight path. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqim, the path of those who you have blessed, not those who have gone astray. So this means that although Allah is the one in control of everything, there's a possibility for us to lose our way or find our way with His help, but also with our intention, determination, and decisions. So we have to make an effort to travel on this path, moving toward the ultimate destination. But where is it that we should be traveling toward? As Allah asks, فَأَيْنَ تَذْهَبُونَ Where are you going? Are we on a path pursuing our own determined destination? Or our definition of success in this life and potentially some other end than Allah? Or are we seeking and journeying to Him? The journey of the soul is a journey to our Creator. It's a journeying to uncover and recover our original state of knowing Allah and knowing our state as servants of Allah from that day of Alastu bi Rabbikum, when all souls witnessed that He is our Lord. But even though we can, in some sense, understand that as being in the past, before this life, it's not about going back to that, but rather bringing that original state of witnessing into our current circumstance. Going forward in this journey to maximize our potential in this life. It's about being a seeker, not staying stagnant and sedentary, but to move. Fi haraka baraka. There's blessing in movement. There's a journeying within that needs to take place in order for us to transform from our current state to our potential state, awakening to self-knowledge and awakening to knowledge of Allah. So the journey of the soul is the ultimate journey and it requires active participation in this life so that we can obtain experiential knowledge, walking the path, not just knowing the path. We are called in this life to actively change what is within ourselves and to embody the path of Islam and to emulate the prophetic way. Trial and adversity shake us out of stagnation and complacency and stretch us to grow, keeping us moving toward our struggle within the self. So now in this moment, we have an opportunity for growth along this journey. What have these recent trials brought to our attention? What are we being called to move toward? What no longer serves us on this journey? And what might we be capable of growing into? We should be asking, how is this moment an opportunity for growth? The journey of the soul is a lifelong journey that never ends here. As long as we're in this life, we are wayfarers. So I invite you to continue with us together on this journey as we explore, discover, 
and be companions for one another in support along the way.